Yo, what is up guys? Arcasting back here with another video. Today, we're taking a little break from the wall cut series. And we are doing a challenge. In my hand, I have a couple packages of Guggen Baits, three to be exact. I'm gonna go ahead and set these right here. We'll open those in a second. We're gonna have to go ahead and find the hole that I wanna use for today. If this hook's not bent. A little bit of bottom, I'll be able to grab some pliers and bend it back. We're gonna go ahead and use this pole, and right here, we're gonna go ahead and use this pole. And right here, we have one package of a green pumpkin crack and craw, one package of a bandito bug and demo bug, and one package of bandito bug and baby blue. This is a green pumpkin color with a little bit of blue underneath of it. This is a green pumpkin color with, um, what's it called? It's just purple, basically. This is just green pumpkin, which, if you do anything with bass fishing, you should know what that color is. One garden kick these baits. We're gonna fix this hook that I have in my pole because I'm too lazy to tie on another one. And we are gonna go and try to see if a small mouth loves green baits as much as a large mouth does. Because every video I've seen so far, every video I've seen so far, it says that largemouth love Guggen baits and everything. Everybody loves them, but I kind of want to test them out on a smallmouth and see if smallmouth has the same. Anyways, just see if a smallmouth has the same reaction to a Guggen bait as a largemouth does. Hey guys, as you can see, the rain just really picked up. Thunder's just been going off. This is like five seconds after I put down the camera. So I think we're going to go ahead and have to wait out the storm. And then as soon as this passes, or it's just stopped raining a little bit, we'll go out there and flip some bandito bugs around. But right now, it just started coming down. Alright guys, as you can see, the rain has now stopped. It is completely stopped. There goes the big storm. It looks like finally it has been raining here in Idaho for the past three weeks. And it looks like this may be the last day of rain for us. It's been just tiring rain. But anyways, I'm going to grab the pole, the baits. We're going to rig them up and we're going to go catch some smallmouth hopefully. Alright guys, I have the bandito bug rigged up right here. I put the Bama Bug color on. Looks real good. Just on a Texas rig. I'm gonna break break all these little appendages off. Yeah, well anyways, I think that's gonna we're definitely gonna find some smallmouth with this thing. It looks so good. So walk walking over here to Parker's again. It's just the water isn't quite high enough for the smallmouth to be over it my house so I just gotta take a little bit of a walk over to the neighbors and you know, we should be able to find some fish hopefully at least get this challenge done with all right guys I just hooked up to my first fish with the bandito bug it's not a very big one I kind of was debating whether I liked this bait or not because I fished it for a while and I just it, nothing was there and there was no fish but Look at that. First fish on the Bama Bug Bandito Bug. He was right up against the wall. Maybe that's what I was doing wrong. Yeah, little tiny dainty guy, honestly. You know, I didn't bite. At least we know that the, the bait worked. He bit it pretty good, too. So, yeah, we'll def I'm going to just keep going and now Maybe we got a pattern of just casting right along that wall. Literally, you must have cast it right on top of his head because he ate it as soon as I cast it. There we go. Got a little pattern. Alright, guys. School just got out for the summer. This is our last day today. It was a half a day. And, anyways, we have the bandito bugs. I got some extra ones in my pocket. Got the same one rigged up from a couple days ago that I caught that little one on. We are going to walk all the way down this bank down clear to that point over there and see if we can't give him some more smallmouth 
Um, there's a the pool. It's looking good. It's about time to go swimming. It's pretty hot out here today. All right, guys. I just had a fight right underneath this dock. That's it on the dock. Hope he's still right there. He cranked it too. Perfect. That was my cranking. This might not be out far enough. Alright guys, I just hooked up to that fish that I, oh my gosh, that is so tiny. Boom guys, I just caught one of the tiniest bass, I think, ever. What even is that? He doesn't even weigh a thing. Jesus, I'm sorry I set the hook on you so hard. Holy crap, that thing is like minuscule. I've never even seen a small one that small. That's good. This bandito bug just has so much action that I don't think it matters the fish. Because usually I don't catch fish that small on baits, especially this big. I think it's just because that bandito bug has so much action. They just want to grab it. Even if they're that small. Alright guys, we're going to keep casting. Alright guys. One more bass for the bandita bug. This one isn't actually that bad. That is... That is a, maybe a thumbnail bass right there. Hound, maybe. Just ran his head right to a rock. Oof, duh. Good little bass. Good little bass. Alright, guys. So, I'm in between these two humongous willow trees right now. Sitting on this big platform that just kind of goes out from the top of the water. I've, uh, honestly, I've been just like watching right here. There's been some just ginormous carp and billions of them just around in these rocks spawning, and I scared them away. But now I'm just kind of flipping around these rocks, and this guy hammered it, missing the first time. But yeah. Looks like his plate is red up there. I haven't really noticed that, but on this one, his plate is red. So that means they're eating crawdads. Can smell them. Okay, it smells good. And boom, I'm gonna pass off. We're gonna keep flipping around right here. Bandito bug is still doing good. Have the same one on. Honestly, that is amazing how tough these baits are. Yep, just keep, keep going around over here and. I haven't fished this side yet, so yeah, we're gonna go a little bit more over here and yeah, we'll catch some more. <clears throat> Alright guys. Another fish on the bandito bug. This one is a little bit better. They're just not quite four pounders like they were last weekend, but honestly they're not bad fish. I'll take them all along. I've had so many bites just like right under this dark here. They are 100% on beds, like they just take it and run, and I set the hook and then nothing. This one's really brown, it's kind of a weird color, I don't think I've ever seen one quite this color, but boom, I look back. Yeah, they, it, they're 100% on beds. The way they're biting this thing, it's quick and they just move it. And I can't even set the hook on them. Like honestly, a dead giveaway they're on beds miss them a lot and they just take they bite it really good but they just don't have it in their mouth and they're running with it and like that's the news on beds yeah we're gonna keep flipping around because i know there's some more smallmouth right here all right guys that is it for the skookum bait video honestly i really like the baits they have really good action and i was able to use that one just one bait to catch so many fish and it didn't break it didn't rip all the little um action the little flaps on it that give it action are still on it literally it looks like it just came out of the box these bits are awesome um they work really good for smallmouth apparently too so if you have more of a smallmouth area and less of a large mouth area honestly i wouldn't be afraid to pick up a package of bandito bugs i didn't be, i wasn't able to use the baby blue or the craw the kraken craw that i got that was in green pumpkin just because honestly i well i only had to use one of these like if I would, if that would have, if the other one on my other pole would have broke, like one of these would have broke off, then I probably would have put it on a different color. But I'll save those for a future video. But these were just awesome. The Bama, this was the Bama Bug color. 
they were just cranking them, honestly. And especially because these bats are just getting on beds right now. So they worked on beds too. I think that purple probably gives them a little bit more shine, which honestly that would help for beds because shiny, they'd be more aggravated to pick those up. But yeah, this is proof that if you live in a small mouth climate, these would still work awesome. Thanks guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like the video. See you guys in the next one.